Hello and welcome to this Microsoft 365 Services and Concepts course. My name is Vlad Catrinescu and I'll be your instructor for this course. In this module, we will learn about Microsoft Forms, a tool that helps us collect information. Microsoft Forms is a tool that allows you to create forms, such as a survey or a quiz with multiple types of questions. What makes it really easy again is that you have so many types of questions built in, not only text, but also rating, order, multiple choice, so it's easy to create the survey and then publish it. You can also implement more advanced things such as branching, so you can add logic and only show certain questions depending on the answers that were done previously. Microsoft Forums has a ton of different options to help you customize the experience, starting by who can fill out this form. It could be anyone in the world that has the link, or it could be only people from your company, and even then, you can make it anonymous. This way, you can do an anonymous survey inside your organization, so you can say, hey, only people in my organization can answer this, Keep it anonymous, but still keep it at maximum one answer per person. This way we don't have somebody that fills out the form 10 times and skews the results. You also have multiple options for responses, such as setting a start and end date, setting a maximum time duration to answer the form, which is really great for quizzes, as well as shuffle the questions, which again, really great for quizzes. This way you don't have anybody looking at their frank screen to see what they answered. Well, it's a lot harder to do when the questions are shuffled. What also makes forums easy to use is that you can view the results as soon as answers are submitted and Microsoft forums will really aggregate them using a nice graph so you can have a feel for the results at first glance. And of course, you can also view the individual results. If you want to have more advanced analytics, you can even export them to Excel and then you can run Power BI on them or even Excel's own business intelligence tools. This way you can really get more advanced analytics. Great, now that we have seen the theory, let's head over to the lab and check out Microsoft Forums in action. We are now in the lab environment. Let me open up the browser here where I'm in Microsoft Forums and I just navigated here from the app launcher. From the top left, I can either create a new forum or if I take a look at the options, I can also create a new quiz. Let me go and create a new form over here. First thing it will ask me is the name. So let me enter a name here. We will create an event satisfaction survey. Something you will notice as I enter the title, Microsoft Forums will use X machine learning to actually suggest me some questions, which is kind of cool. I can simply add all of them and then already have a form set up. And while I'm not really a fan of the order in which it added them, I can simply go in and just drag and drop them like this. Of course, depending on the form you create, you might not have all the questions that you want. So you can simply go in, let's add new here, and let's take a look at the type of questions you have. We have a choice, so like this one here, we have a text as well. We can say it's a long answer or a short answer. Is it required or not? We also have a rating type of question. So I can say, okay, how much did you enjoy the event? Do you want five, 10, seven stars? How many do you want to have? Do you want a star? Do you want to have thumbs up? Do you want to have smiley face or hearts? Again, you really have a ton of options in order to make it beautiful and easy, which is what I really love about Microsoft Forms. I can also add more advanced things. For example, let me add a question here. What was your most favorite part of the event? And here let's put option one will be the food, of course. Option two will be the speakers. 
And option three will be the location. I can always preview it. And if I want to know what my option, what my question was, how it looks like for the user, you can see here how users can rank it and really put it which one was their favorite in order. I can also have the preview on a mobile device if I want to. So really, really easy to create them. Then after that, if I go into the settings, I can decide who can fill out this form. I can make it that anyone can respond, only people in my organization. And then do I want to record the name or not? So do I want to make it anonymous? Let's say we will do anyone can respond. After that, I can set, do I want this form to accept responses? Yes, I do right now. Do I want a start date and an end date? No, let's just leave it open. I can also set a time duration. So what is the maximum amount of time I give to a user to answer this? Do I want to shuffle the questions, for example? And then if I do that, do I want to lock some of them? For example, maybe your name and email address will always be at the top, but shuffle the rest. So I can do that as well. Do I want to show the progress bar? But this only works if I have multiple pages, which you can do as well with forums. And do you want to customize the thank you message? Great. Now, if we go click on collect responses, I can simply copy paste the URL. Okay, so we have copied it. I can also shorten it if I want to. This way it's a bit shorter. Let's actually go try it out and answer it. We said everybody can answer, so we can put it in incognito. And you see, I'm not logged into 365, but I still have access to it. Let's start answering. What did you like least about the event? I put here, there should have been more desserts, which is always a valid complaint. How likely are you to recommend this event to a friend of colleague? Let's put five. Do you have any suggestion for us to improve future events? Let me type in something. Have more desserts, always a good idea to improve the event. What did you like most about the event? The speakers and content. How satisfied were you? Let's put extremely satisfied. How friendly was the staff? Let's put very friendly. Was this your first time to attend one of our events? No. Prior to the event, how much of the information that you needed did you get? Let's do all of the information. Again, we added all of the questions that Microsoft Forms suggested. Some of them look like copies, and that's why you should maybe look more before you send the link to your colleagues to make sure they're in the right order and you don't have any duplicates like we have now. The machine learning and artificial intelligence can really help us, but also needs a bit of manual work in the end. Let's put somewhat satisfied here. The speakers, the food, the location, that will be the order. Now let me click on submit. And of course, right now the message is your response was submitted, but we could have customized that as well. Now if I close this and I go to the answers here, you can see right now I only have one answer, the one that I did. It took one minute and 49 seconds to complete. And as more people fill out this form, one of the cool thing with forms is that it will update live. And there we go, another answer just came in. You see my average time to complete went up. And directly from here, I really have a nice overview of what happened. So what did you least like about the event? There should have been more desserts. There was no Q&A. How likely are you to recommend this event to a friend of colleague? You see, this was an NPS type of question, a net promoter score. Right now I have one promoter, zero passives, and one detractor. So we're at zero. Let's take a look at another one here. How satisfied were you to the event? One extremely satisfied, one very satisfied. How friendly was the staff? Was this your first time to attend one of our events? Everybody said no. So you really have some nice graphs and analytics to allow you to quickly view the answers, but you can always go to view results and then see one by one what did everybody answer. This is it for Microsoft Forms, a tool that makes it easy for us to collect information or create quizzes.